Mr. Jackson, Norman just wants you to know he has a place to live now. Uh-oh, come on in. He going to talk for five minutes, though. Mr. Mr. Dupree, are you there? Good morning, Your Honor. Afternoon. Good morning. Your Honor. I mean, well, you're right. Good afternoon. And we got three minutes before lunch. All right. I'm trying to let your client in. I told her she didn't have to sit in the chair, but she might have walked away. Maybe you can call her. She might I'll, not. Uh, I can quickly do that, Judge. Okay. Mr. Jackson Norman, good morning. Good afternoon. How you doing, Yana? How your day I'm doing, going? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Mr. Jackson Norman? Uh, I'm okay. I found a place. I, that's what Miss Stevenson just told me. What you yeah. found a place on your own? No, my mother helped me. And um, my uncle lives in the building. He put in a good word for me. He did. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Jackson Norman, one day can I can I meet your mother? Uh, yeah, she'll log in. All right. Uh, I just want to meet her. So, did I refer you to the Street Outreach Court? Yes. Um. Have you been in I, contact with them? Yes. Yes, I have. Um. Not you don't want to do that point. either, do you? You you don't want to do that either, do you? Mr. Jackson. No, no, you, no, you no he said he no. He said he don't want to do it. He said the things that I that I need, they don't do anymore. He said they only do oh. um, car tickets. He said- He didn't um, say he doesn't want to though. He just he says he that can. he's not out, right. Right, he right. can. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you have you have housing. And um, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly, I did not give Mr. Jackson Norman any conditions because I was focused on his homelessness, wasn't I? Yes, right. yes. Well, Mr. Jackson Norman, I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hope, oh, give me one second. Give me okay. one second. Uh. You got away, bro. You got a new coat, Mr. Jackson Norman? Yep, I got it yesterday. Look at you. It looks good. Yeah, I just got it. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So you think she gonna want me to uh, come back? I think she's gonna tell you what she wants in just a few minutes, just about a minute here. Okay. Yeah, my mom brought it for me. It's a it's a nice little coat. Yeah. It took a minute to get. I've been homeless for two and a half years. I used to sleep right there on Fortnite Drive at, outside. Now I'm getting ready to have me a place. <laughs> right inside. Look at that. Yeah, I ain't got to worry about that no more. So beautiful. Yes, having your own peace and mind. You yep. can just... You ain't got to even go outside if you don't want to. Nope. Make yeah. your own coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You can do, do, do you. You know, you ain't got to worry about getting in trouble. That's been part of my problems, trying to find a place and getting in trouble with these roommates. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um. So I didn't give Mr. Jackson Norman any conditions because I was just trying to get, get us through this. So this is what I'm going to do because I, I don't have his stuff with me. I don't have his, his stuff with me. So I want him to come back at the beginning of the year. Can I squeeze Mr. Jackson Norman in on January 6th? I'm so happy and excited, Mr. Jackson Norman. I know. When that guy called me back and said, I'm sitting here with your mother. All we got to do is put a new oven. And I said, man, you're not telling me I got the place. He said, that's exactly what I'm telling you. I said, okay. Oh, my God. So, Mr. Jackson, Norman, you got to stay connected to your doctors and your medicine. No, nope, I, I got them all. I just got them. Okay. Where did you get them? Who? Like, how that, are you? How are you getting them? Do, what, do you have they, insurance? Um, do you have insurance? Yeah, I have insurance. Yep. And they deliver it to my mother's house now. 
Okay. Is your mother like, is your mother your guardian or she's not? You don't have a guardian? Uh, She's my paid. I'm my own guardian. Okay. okay. All right. So let's, let's talk about it January 6th. And then um, I need to look at your stuff again. And I might, I'm so happy that I'm so happy right here. Uh, I might just stay happy right here, but I'll, I'll see if I'm going to have you do anything else. But Mr. Jackson Norman, it's so important. It's so important. It's so important for you to stay, even if you're feeling better. When you're feeling better, you have to try to remember it's because of the medicine. Yeah. So I, you got to keep taking it. You got to keep taking it. Okay. It's just, I'll be scared of my kidneys. You know, epilepsy. I know, medicine. but listen. If you don't take that medicine, it ain't going to be your kidneys. It's going to be the police shooting you down or something because you off your medicine and, and then you don't control your behavior. We can work with the kidneys. They're going to test your kidney function. They're going to take your blood and they're going to look at your kidney function. That's how. That's why I, right now, every three months, I'd be mad because I hate needles, but I have to go to the doctor and get my, kid, my, my blood work so they can check your kidney function. Don't worry about your kidneys. Just ask them every time. My kidney function still good? Because otherwise, if you get off that medicine, you see how them police came up on you that day you was on the record? Yeah. Yeah, disrupting the record because they coming up on you. Okay. I was just sitting there eating my McDonald's. Right. So, Mr. Jackson, I mean, I I'm excited about you. J just make sure that that bag right there that they delivering to your mother, let's just keep it going. And between me and your mother, at least as long as you're on probation, we're going to try to keep you on, on the even keel with your medicine, okay? Okay. All right, come see me January 6th. Um, 